Late Junior Pope and his wife attended your wedding, but you refused to do the same when he died. Actress Esther Wanchuku calls out her colleague Frederick Leonard. Please do not forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment and share, and please click on that bell icon so you get notified when I post a new video. If you are new here, please click on that subscribe button, like, comment and share, and turn on that bell icon so you get notified when I post a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, I say thank Thank you for coming back. I see the hot on news media. This Esther one Chuku, she will not just rest, she will not rest. It's as if since when Junior Pope by she's using his name to chase clout. That's how the last time she made a video accusing late Junior Pope's wife of not mourning him that whether a widow is supposed to come out and be working, that she has not finished mourning the husband and saying Nigeria they like sentiment that how is she lean? She's wearing a jalabia. You can see someone's face was lean and you're saying how is she lean? To me, I just feel that she's just chasing clout. Out. that's what i believe last year i could remember there was a story that this lover posted and curie juice about esther and junior pope she said she allegedly was having an affair with him that she gave him money blah 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 and all of that you that went to be following a married man you knew fully well that he was married so why are you coming on the blog coming to say that he deceived you or something i don't understand she even said that she tattooed his name on her body you tattooed a married man's name on your body really seriously now calling out frederick leonard and the wife saying that frederick did not sympathize with the family when junior pope right he did not post he did not reach out to the family it's not everybody that sympathized with late junior pope's family that actually posted a lot of people did not post but that doesn't mean that they didn't reach out to the family personally that does not mean they did not reach out they might have probably reached out who knows she does not know she's just saying things for saying sake and she talking about frederick leona's wife peggy that she does not even like the wife that leonard married like what's your business the kind of wife that he married you are sounding like you are pained like you are jealous like maybe frederick had something with you in the past and at the end of the day dumped you and went to marry the wife that's how you are sounding like you are sounding bitter or you're having eyes for him you're having imaginations that you put with date you put with knack or something and it did not come to pass and you are bitter peggy is 10 times the woman that you will never become i don't know if he's doing all this because of facebook monetization because they have monetized facebook everywhere so people need to say a lot of nasty things to get engagement so they can get paid because i don't understand this around thing. she's always on the left side of things she's not always on the right side of things most of the things i feel she says is out of jealousy and spite that's what i feel let me allow you to watch the video and and decide for yourself guys i am calling that fred leonard i am calling that fred leonard see fred leonard i want to know you, this guys me i watch this video i'm showing you guys now when i watch this video This video shows that when, when Juno Pope was alive, Juno Pope attended, Juno Pope and his wife attended Fred Leonard's wedding with happiness. Now, Juno Pope by Fred Leonard, on a movie lord, on a safe acclaimed movie lord, did not attend Juno Pope burial. Neither did he even sympathize with the family of Juno Pope. Neither did he even post. Neither did he even post. He didn't post. He didn't even post about Juno Pope Pai. He did not post. He did not even go to Juno Pope area. Me, I know say so many people, they beef on Juno Pope all this while. Me, Juno Pope was alive. I told you guys this. You people don't let believe when I say something. You see Fred Leonard, that guy not be waiting on until saying be. When I safe acclaimed Lord, movie Lord, or what's in a column, he is not whom on until saying be. That guy mind, that jealousy, not full in mind. You see, Fred Leonard, jealousy full and for mind. As they see, say, oh, Juno Pope don't they shine them. This and that, jealousy not set in. 
you know, Pope and his wife attended Fred Leonard's wedding. Nah, you know, Pope by Fred nobody better. See that is Fred post on his status to sympathize. Let me even tell you something. People, so many people where they have been said you know Pope Pride. So many movie industry oh, yeah. men and women are so happy that you know Pope Pride. And Fred Leonard is one example of person where they have been said you know Pope Pride. Guys, notice that. Ever since Fred got married, people don't like him like before again. Yes. People don't like him like before again. In fact, he can't change. He can't be he can't get pride. The guy can't get pride. Like no be saying I want small girl when you marry. I am one of those when no happy say, when no happy with the wife when you marry. Yes. Ever since Fred Leonard on a safe acclaimed movie lord got married, he no get fans like before again. And secondly, he can't get pride. He can't, you can't misbehave these days. You know who can't find again for my eye. I'll be Fred fine for your eye. Fred no find again for my eye. That guy mind, now Kute, I will say it. Fred Leonard mind, that guy mind, no, they pure. That guy, that Fred, in mind, no, they pure. So many eye service pretenders they inside this Nollywood industry. So, what do you think? Do you think she's saying this thing out of jealousy and spite, or what? Do you think that when Le Junior Pope by that Frederick actually reached out to the family? But well, I guess we'll never know. We don't know. Well, just leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you. According to Curie Jews, <laughs> Casaladon busted between his Daniel and Ubi Franklin because of money. <laughs> money they say saves and money they say is the root of all evil. Like in this life, don't be greedy. So let me read what she wrote and <laughs> you also can decide. Who will solve this 7.5 million Naira fight by ye? Apparently, Ubi got Kiz Daniel a 150 million Naira gig in Nigeria and initially Kiz Daniel agreed to pay Ubi 10% which is 50 million Naira. So since Ubi got the deal with the MMM label, he took out 15 million Naira and sent the 135 million to his Daniel's account at Lagos State Government. Hope you people have taken your tax. Now Kiz Daniel, upon receiving the alert, said no. Ubi has to pay the whole sum to him so he can account properly. Then he would now pay Ubi's court as an expense, maybe for tax purposes. Initially, Ubi refused, and then Kiz Daniel said unless the whole 150 million naira is paid into his account he won't go for the show so ubi then had to scumble and pay the 150 million to kiss when kiss received the money instead of the 50 million naira kiss sent 7.5 million to ubi when ubi asked kiss for the rest of the money kiss daniel told ubi that the 10 percent commission was an agreement between ubi and his kiss d brother not him and that he would only offer Ubi 5% which is the 7.5 million he has sent him. This created a huge argument and Ubi even wanted to take legal actions. They used unprinted words on each other and then Kiz Daniel blocked all Ubi's phone numbers from his phone. Ubi then returned the same favor and followed Kiz Daniel on IG. Kiz Daniel upon scene went ahead and blocked Ubi on IG. Hmm. They used to be very close friends before this matter. Oh, I beg who is at fault here. <laughs> <laughs> this is greed at play here. Yeah. Why is Kiz Daniel being greedy? You po made an agreement. It doesn't matter whether the agreement was with you directly or with your brother. But the thing is that you are the one that will perform at the end of the day. So out of 150 million naira, you cannot pay the 50 million naira that you po agreed upon initially. That's pure greed. Someone that even made you get the gig. Like, come on, come on. People should not be greedy. Next time, definitely, will be Franklin. We not get a gig for him again in fact they are no longer friends unfollowed each other i don't know if this agreement had a legal binding like a formal legal binding like documents were signed and all for the percentage that ubi will be getting because if there's a legal document binding it i think 
Ubi can actually take legal actions. But anyway, agreement is agreement. That's why it's good that when you are making a contract, like let it be written, let there be evidence of it. This is just greed on Chris Daniel's part. This is just greed. Like play, like play. His bad character is actually coming out. Is actually coming out. This is greed. This is not fair. He's not. Make with the see truth to the talk, and this is not fair. You should pay Ubi his money. You should pay him. Agreement is agreement. I know people will still support. What is Daniel? They say will be that is doing this, that is doing that. This now, like agreement is agreement. People that we support Kiss Daniels, imagine if they do that kind of thing to them, they will not take it now. They will not. No bad song, but plenty bad character. His bad character is eventually coming out. Thank you for watching my video. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell. And please do kindly leave your comments in the comment section below.